Okay, so in the videos that follow, we are going to discuss about addition and subtraction of fractions. And we'll be considering the three cases. That is, how do we add and subtract like fractions? How do we add and subtract unlike fractions? And how do we add and subtract the mixed fractions? So let us start our discussion on addition and subtraction of fractions by using the case of like fractions. Now, uh, just to remind you, like fractions simply mean that they have the same denominator. Now, let us first start with uh, these three examples and let me take a simplest example here. Uh, let us say that this is figure 2, this is figure 1 and this is figure 3. Let us take this figure number 2. How many fractions, I mean if I want to represent the shaded part as a fraction, how, how do we do it? So it is straightforward since we have two parts out of four parts. So I represent the shaded part as two fourths or two by four. Now there is another way to look at how we arrived at this two by four. So what I can say is, what if I consider just one part individually that is I will consider first this part if I were to consider this part then how much how, how will that be represented as a fraction so we will write that as one fourth or one one by four now we are going to consider the other part that is this one and how do we write it we write that also as one by four now do you see a connection here that is when I add these two parts, what we get is 2 by 4. So now let us just try to observe this here. So we have 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Now the denominator are same in both the cases. So what we have done, we have simply added the numerator. So this kind of points us to a pattern which can get clearer when we consider the example third, third example. So in this case, if we write the fraction, we write it as 3 by 9 or 3 ninths because we have 3 parts shaded out of 9 parts. Now again we will use the method which I showed earlier that is we just consider all the parts one by one. So let us say that I, we start with this shaded part here. So can that be written as one part out of 9 parts? Then we take in the second part that is this which I am shading with red. I can write that as one part out of nine parts and then we take the third part which is this one the third part I can write that as one part out of nine parts now again intuitively we can figure it out that when I add all these three parts what we get is this fraction here so the addition of these three is giving us three by nine or three nines so again, this reiterates the fact that when we have like fractions, with, that is fractions with same denominator, we can simply add the numerators to get the results. Now let us consider the figure number one, which kind of seems to be a bit different. So in this case, we have to find out, we have to write the total fraction here. So typically, how, how, how would we be going about it? I mean, mentally, you would make a calculation like this. Is first you count these parts. So let me just write numbers on these parts. So this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so this shaded portion is 4 parts out of how many parts? So we have 4 this way and then we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So it's 4 parts out of 28 parts. Now we also have this another portion shaded. So we need to count that as well. So let me just start counting it from here. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now how many are these? These are again 5 parts out of 28 parts. So if I want to represent how much is the fraction which is covered by the shaded parts in this figure taken together. In that case, it is simply an addition. So what we would be writing it as is 9 parts out of 28 parts. So this is essentially what you need to do when you are adding like fractions. Now let us consider the 
concept of subtracting like fractions. Now it is quite similar to what we have done in addition and it will become even more clearer by the example below. So let us say that we have this circle and we have divided into six equal parts and now starting with we have this uh, fraction here. So how do I represent it? It is one, two, three, four and five parts. So I have five parts out of six parts. Now what we are doing is in this figure number two we are taking away these two parts. Right. So how many are these parts when we consider the whole? So they are nothing but two parts out of six parts. So we had five parts, we are taking out two. So how many are remaining? It's nothing but the three. Right? So what we get is three parts out of six parts or three six. So do you see a relation here? The relation is simply a subtraction. That is we are just subtracting the numerators when the denominators are seen. So this is what we should be following when we subtract like fractions. That is we can simply subtract the denominator. Now having discussed this let us summarize the addition and subtraction for the like fractions. So to obtain the sum of two or more like fractions we simply add the numerators and then we write the fraction as a result of step one by the common denominator since the like fractions will always have a common denominator. Similarly to subtract two or more like fractions it is simply we subtract the smaller numerator from the larger one and then we write the result, uh, resultant fraction as a result of step, step 1 by the common denominator. Because again the like fractions are involved so we do not need to change the denominator. Now let us have a quick look at some of the examples here. So now we have this uh, add 5 eighths and 3 by 8. So since these are like fractions so we simply add the numerators and write down the denominator here. So what we have is 8 by 8 or if you can simplify it will be 1. That is a, we are considering all the 8 parts out of 8 parts. Now let us look at the second example in which we are supposed to subtract 2 thirds from 1. Now this is a little bit tricky here. So what can we do to convert this one into a like fraction? Now it is something what we did here. So 1 we wrote it I mean the 8 by 8 could be written as 1. So one good thing about having unity or 1 is that we can manipulate it a bit. So what we can do here is we can write 1 as 3 parts out of 3 parts. So 1 is nothing but the whole. And you can divide whole into number of parts. And how you divide, uh, how, how you figure out 3? Based on this denominator here. Because you want to convert it into a like fraction. So now our problem becomes easy for us. So we have to do minus 2 by 3. Now following the discussion earlier, we simply subtract the denominators, uh, the, sorry, the numerators and keep the denominator as common. So in this case, we have 1 third. Now, if you just see, even intuitively, you have two thirds and you are just, you want to subtract two thirds from a whole. What is going to remain? It's just the one thirds. So that is what, this is just an intuitive uh, calculation that you can do. Now, let us take the other one. In this case, we have to subtract 12 by 5 from 3. Now, this is a little bit tricky in the sense that what can we do to get 5 in the denominator because we know that if we have like fractions our calculations become very easy. So can we do one thing this 3 we can find out an equivalent fraction for this 3 such that the denominator is 5. So I can do that calculation here 3 can be written as 3 by 1 and now since this is 1 I know that when I multiply the denominator by 5 I'm going to get 5 as the denominator. So the 3 must also be multiplied by 5 and in that case we are getting 15 by 5. So now we can write 3 as 15 by 5 minus 12 by 5. And now our work becomes much easier. So we just subtract 12 from 15 that is subtraction of the numerators 
we write the denominator as it is and the resultant answer is 3 by 5. And now we come to the final example in which we have to subtract 12 by 15 minus 7 by 15. Now this is a straight case in which you can simply subtract the numerators and write retain the common denominator. So we have 12 minus 7 is 5 by 15. Or if you want to simplify it further into its simplest form, you can just write it as 1 by 3. That is what is going to be the answer. So this was our discussion on adding and subtracting like fractions.